emergency sirens went off a few times during this past weekend stormy weather, but just how reliable are those sirens? Fox Chicago meteorologist Tammy, Tammy Sousa finds out for us. Tornado sirens blared overnight in the southwest suburb of Homer Glen. Fox Chicago News has learned there were no tornadoes and no warnings. The National Weather Service issued its last tornado warning at 525 in the evening. So what gives? The Office of Emergency Management in Will County tells us it was a malfunction, possibly caused by lightning. And this isn't the first time Chicago residents have been left confused. Last year, a siren snafu in DuPage County led to a new tornado siren policy. And a few years ago, there was confusion during a tornado warning at Wrigley Field. So how do you know what that siren really means? Uh, today they're used not just for weather alerts, but for all hazard events. And that can include um, projects or events like on uh, college campuses. In addition, uh, they're used uh, for um, anything from flood or other uh, flash uh, warnings or other storms that might come through. This is where tornado sirens are made and tested for communities in Chicago and across the country. Federal signal in University Park. And while malfunctions are rare, they say the new generation of sirens delivers both tones and voice announcements. Sirens come in many sizes and shapes, and they can be triggered via radio or even smartphone. The policy in Will DuPage in Cook County is to sound the sirens for tornadoes and extreme life-threatening winds. In the city of Chicago, warnings are centralized and triggered from downtown. Their policy is to use sirens for any threat, whether natural or man-made. And part of any multi-level alert program should include your cell phone. You can get text alerts on this and Facebook and Twitter. Also, a NOAA weather alert radio. All the watches and warnings come through on this as well. However, the final decision of when and why to hit the trigger is based on human judgment and it's left to each community. Tammy Souza, Fox Chicago News. And a lot of people sent us in a lot of great pictures from this weekend storms, and we posted your pictures on our website, myfoxchicago.com. You can go take a look at what your neighbors were dealing with. Homecoming for the Bulls.